course. <laughs> I can be critical, but at the same time, I can be super grateful. And architecture itself is not a passion of mine. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Scala and I am so glad that you're here. Today I thought I would just finally film this video reflecting on my first semester at grad school, my first semester at Harvard's Graduate School of Design. Um, quick background, I am currently a now second semester <laughs> MARC 1 um, student at the GSD and oh boy, <laughs> has it been a semester? So <laughs> I thought it'd be nice to come on here and express my feelings and share my experiences and answer a lot of your guys' questions about how the first year of grad school has been for me. I first wanna start off by sharing that all of these <laughs> points really stem from my experience at Harvard um, and good or bad I just really appreciate being honest and I want to be honest with you guys to share how I have been doing this semester re respectfully of course. <laughs> so I kind of have three main sections the first will be talking about Harvard itself my experience um, just on campus at Harvard not on campus but at Harvard um, the second is the architecture experience, so my experience at the Graduate School of Design and Curriculum. And then the third will just be a quick overview of how I feel about Boston in general. So let's start with number one, all about Harvard itself. And I have to say that I absolutely love the intellectual community that I found at Harvard. Um, this spans beyond the Graduate School of Design and I really just appreciate how focused students are on their work, whether it be their program or their research on endeavor on the side or entrepreneurship is huge. I visited the iLab. If you saw that in my first day or days of class vlog that I posted. Um, and yeah, I just, I just love how people are so devoted and dedicated to <laughs> what they're doing at Harvard or in the nearby area. Um, I also just need to get out all the way. The biggest question that I've gotten in a lot of my posts is about how I've um, been accepted or this experienced life at Harvard as a woman of color, as an African American woman, as well as as a Catholic, uh, someone who um, expresses my faith pretty openly. And I have to say that in both regards, there's been some great moments and some <laughs> more negative moments, of course. So I'm gonna get both. Um, I think one of the biggest surprises that I had going to Harvard was how little African-Americans I actually saw. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I don't know if I just didn't look at the ratio, but um, I was expecting not to be the only black person in some of my classes. And you know, maybe I wasn't the only one in these classes, but I was one of like two. <laughs> so um, that was surprising, but I am absolutely, um, enjoying all of the resources that they have for African Americans and people of color at the GSD. I'm a part of um, ASU, AASU, African American Student Union, and I, it's just an amazing community, <laughs> as well as Africa GSD. It was one of the first events that I went to um, at the GSD was just a gathering and talking to people and those people I still see around and I still will say hello to or see them at different events and or go out to drinks with. and. Um, I don't know, I just really appreciate that community too because I didn't really have that in my undergrad as explicitly um, or at least I didn't search for it as explicitly in my undergrad so it's nice having that community of people there for me um, and for me to also be there for them. Um, I'd also say that I've been pretty accepted. I don't think I've um, experienced racism as explicitly yet. I've only been there for a few months, but I'm of course hoping <laughs> that it stays the same and I continue to just feel the love of the community um, at in Boston and at the Graduate School of Design especially. So, so far so good. And in terms of the Catholic community, absolutely floored. <laughs> there are so many young adult Catholic opportunities, events, happenings within Boston in general. And then we have, of course, Harvard University's um, graduate and young adults groups that they have. They have like these monthly dinners that I've gone to attend and just the priests and the laity and all of us, the church is really alive in Boston. And I, I have really appreciated that too. Okay, so next down to the meat of the matter, actual school. Also, sorry, it's it's the sun is definitely going down quickly so i am losing light and it's kind of pretty behind me hopefully <laughs> but um i have had a lot of struggles this semester in terms of academics and curricular i'll start by saying that 
I know that I can be extremely grateful for where I am and the education that I'm receiving while at the same time being critical of it and hoping that it will grow and continue to improve. So this is just my experience so far at the GSD in terms of curriculum and yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna share honestly. So I can be critical, but at the same time, I can be super grateful. So the curriculum. Um, something that I really didn't expect coming into the GSD is how object focused the design work really is. Um, and I, I was really hoping for, and you guys read in my um, letter or my statement of purpose, I was hoping for a very service oriented type of design that I could go into, really understanding how communities are affected by architecture. Um, and I get a bit of this in, I guess, my history courses and adjacent courses, but especially this semester, I really didn't get much of a choice in terms of um, integrating community as much um, as I hoped to at the school. So that is one thing that I really did not anticipate, nor <laughs> it's not really a positive part of my education so far. There's also the culture. Um, in any architecture program, studio is going to be the most time consuming, the most um, important for architectural development or one of the most important classes for architectural development. So I understand the emphasis that Studio has in any architecture program, but I am just floored by how, <sighs> I don't know how to explain it. I guess how devoted students are to Studio prior to any other class, I mean, I could spend all day and all night in studio and I would still never be done my project. And it's clear that um, the culture is to almost overwork <laughs> yourself. It's, it's the idea of, um, I guess the American idea of you live to work rather than you work to live. It's kind of feels as though I'm like trapped in this bubble of being at the GSD solely to complete my studio work and to the detriment of my other classes as well. I mean, it's, it was pretty evident. I don't think any student can disagree that uh, studio took precedent. No other class really mattered when we had a final exam. Um, no matter how much I tried to make it matter or we tried to make it matter, um, actually, no, I'm not speaking for all students here. I'm really speaking for myself. So no matter how much I tried to make other classes a priority, studio always took precedent just because of how um, how much we're demanded to do and work. We had three sem three projects this semester, so every other week was either a final or um, a midterm. So there was no, there were barely any breaks. <laughs> the beginning of the semester was the only quote unquote break. And this really messed with my mental health a lot, um, especially when you're producing work that is all your own. Like I am designing this, I am creating this project and this building, um, given no context and no clients to work and design for, I kind of found it very abstract and I couldn't find a purpose in what I was doing, um, if that makes sense. So it was really just the overall curriculum that I wasn't, I wasn't jiving with. <laughs> we'll just say that I wasn't jiving with it. Um, and yeah, it was very difficult for me. And it's actually helped me realize a lot about myself and what I value within architecture. I'm still very service oriented in how I want to live my life and how I do live my life. And architecture itself is not a passion of mine. <laughs> architecture itself is not a passion of mine. Architecture as a means to serve communities and help other people is a passion of mine. And that is where um, I think I went wrong in terms of like designing um, the projects this semester is that I was forced. I mean, I had to follow the directions. We were, we start with very basics. I felt like I was back in freshman year. You know, you're learning the basics of design. Um, what is a plan? How do you develop a plan? How do you develop sections for the plan? Um, and that was a priority beyond, you know, ha again, beyond, we didn't have a context. We didn't have a site. We didn't have a client we were working towards. In some cases, we had to design the client. Um, and then our final project, we were given a site. But just the things that to me were the most important, but who I was designing for and where I was designing um, in terms of environmental design were not there. Um, so it was very, very difficult for me this semester in terms of academics, um, but I passed. I mean, it was <laughs> the GSD is a pass or fail, high pass, low pass um, curriculum, and I did pass studio, so we were doing something right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was a great semester to reflect. Um, I know now that architecture 
<laughs> can only do so much in terms of how I want to live my life in the future and how I want to be a professional. Um, so I'm doing a little bit of soul searching. I've also applied to other programs, whether I'm doing a concurrent degree or switching degrees, that's always been up in the air for me. So we'll see what comes next. I do love it there though. And I love, my professors have been wonderful and very engaging. I actually got to um, skip, not skip, I got to switch out of class, my environmental systems class, because I was, I took a lot of environmental systems class in undergrad and I took an environmental law class. Amazing class. If you're ever at Harvard, Graduate School of Design, or I guess it's urban planning, it's law students, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> I highly recommend environmental law and, or land use and environmental law with Gerald Caden. Amazing class, he's an amazing professor. Um, yeah, that pulled me through the semester. Honestly, looking forward to that class every week. <laughs> what really pulled me through. And just a quick last bit, just generally Boston itself. I am in love with this city. I, <laughs> I did only experience it during the fall. So I don't know how the spring is gonna go with like the winter season being upon us. Um, but so far, so good. This is the beauty of being in a city that just feels so homey. Cambridge is so homey. The North End is like Little Italy and that's my favorite place to go. I make it a point to try to get there like <laughs> once every other week at least. And there are so many events that I've gone to do with the Catholic community, with the Harbor community. Um, of course, the iLab I've loved and I'm part of the Climate Leaders Program at Harvard. So that's been wonderful getting to know this, another intellectual community all about environmental, um, environmental, environmentally positive systems. And yeah, I've just, I've just loved it. And I'm actually gonna film, I think, a uh, expectations video. So my Boston expectations and if they were met or if they weren't met, I feel like you'll be surprised because I was surprised. <laughs> But overall, um, this video again was just all about my experience and I could go so much more in depth, but I've been making super long videos and I need to stop. <laughs> so this is the video for the day, all about my first semester at the GSD. Um, if you guys have any other questions, like please leave them down below. Maybe I'll make a part two that's a bit longer or explains a little bit more about any of these topics. And yeah i really appreciate you guys being here and staying tuned to all that's going on in this channel i'm trying to figure out <laughs> what other content to make so give me your suggestions i really appreciate them and i hope you all have a wonderful day bye Okay. <laughs>